What, what was unique about her scenario? Well, I think this is the first time I've treated somebody with the type of trauma she had. Uh, I've been trying to help those type of patients for a long time, but thanks to you, we were able to actually treat somebody like that. I think the intensity of the PTSD in this type of trauma is more severe than a lot of times in combat. If you go out on a mission, whatever happens in the mission, you come back, you have a safety place. Mm -hmm. If you have MST, your safety place is where the occurrence happened. So you know you have safety. If you have no safety, PTSD gets worse from lack of safety. Yeah. Is that, would yeah. that be a fair assessment? Yeah, that's yes. true. Because I felt like after that happened, I was in survival mode. I was always sitting closer by the door. I was always watching people body language more than their actual words. Um, so I was just constantly, constantly on alert. But I mean, now with the shot, I went from survival to living. And I think that I cannot put a price on it. Well, we're so, we're so happy for you. I want to also introduce you to Alicia and Tony, who are also victims of military sexual trauma. Ten years ago, I was sexually assaulted in the military. Everything changed for me. Within my first six months of being in the military, I experienced sexual trauma. From that night on, I never had a good night's sleep. I felt degraded. I felt low. I thought it would get better when I got out of the military, and it didn't. I had trouble getting out of bed, being in large crowds, doing things with my children. I was in a war zone in my own mind. I had pain all throughout my body, migraine headaches every day. I didn't even know I had PTSD. I kept going to the VA, and it kept giving me medicine. Approximately 17 years I've been on medication for anxiety, and I'm getting medication for depression, Vicodin for pain, but that, it doesn't work. The symptoms were getting worse. They were getting worse. I stopped answering phone calls and I had to stop going to work. And a year ago I ended up homeless in a shelter. It wasn't until a year ago that I was diagnosed with PTSD when I heard about the SGB procedure. I just went for it. It was just a 10 minute procedure. When I initially woke up, I automatically felt relaxed. It changed my life. I sleep like five hours straight. I've never done that in my adult life. Amazing. Amazing. I want to cry.